Today is the third part of my never-ending endeavor of water cooling my personal working rig. Uh, we had two parts until now. The first one was uh, a success. I didn't kill my 1200k when we put on that new retention bracket. The second part was a fail because once I prepared everything, I, or I presented what we are going to do actually, I realized that I forgot to order tubes. I'm probably the first tech YouTuber who begins a water cooling build without ordering tubes. That, uh, yeah, great, great start there. But today is part three and today we are going to put a water block on top of my CPU because I actually wanted to install the radiators but I realized once I put them in it's going to be really hard to put the motherboard in or maybe even impossible, I don't know. They are really thick. We're going to see that but for today, water block. Alpha cool water blocks are or alpha cool in general. It's like, I love the brands. They make very high quality stuff. I just sometimes, various decisions that they make are just weird to me. Like, for example, they are the only company I am aware of that uses like Torx screws. Like, you know, not the Philips heads, but always Torx. And that, is it called Torx in English? No matter what they are called, they annoy me because you always need to use an extra piece and not your usual screwdriver and it's a bit annoying. So what do we get? A manual, wow, well, a manual for once. Uh, a beautiful and gigantic water block with a manual, a bunch of brackets, some thermal paste and a ARGB adapter from whatever the hell this is to the regular three pin ARGB. However, before we begin, I wanted to try something because Fantex also uses like a proprietary thing for all of their ARGB. And I wanted to try because my case does come with like an ARGB extension, which is like proprietary Fantex stuff, and it looks very similar to this one. Does it fit? No, it does not fit. Well, that's a shame. I uh, really hope that it will fit and I could just like adapt, or not adapt, but like extend the, the Fantex one. But okay, it, it's not working. So uh, yeah, I guess let's get to it. Okay, installing all of that stuff shouldn't be too hard. Uh, first off, we need the Intel bracket, or more like the, the Intel bracket on the water block side. So I would like to install it yeah, this way, so that we have the Alpha Cool logo nice and visible. Oh, it's top bottom, okay. Nice and click, and they are in. Wow, that easy first step. I guess those are the screws. Yes, Water Cool provides us with a nice little Intel backplate, because it's still Intel. Yes, it's sitting on the RAM, I know, it's just for a second. Just peel these off. Push these to the most outer position. Socket ready. Okay, next step would be to put the water block on top. However, oh my God, this is enormous. Just way too big for the CPU, look at this. Ah, uh, this peel. So I will not be using uh, whatever thermal paste AlphaCool includes because very recently Arctic sent over some of their new MX6 thermal paste. I told them I'm not doing thermal paste reviews, like in general, because that's like such a minuscule thing to measure and I just don't have the equipment or even patience to do it. Wow, this is a thick tube. But I told them I will use it. So uh, what better place to use it than my personal working rig? Okay, and now comes the gigantic water block. And I need to position it somewhat straight because like alpha cool stuff, you like mount it straight into like the retention bracket behind. Yeah, I don't particularly enjoy that method, but uh, it's just how it is. And from the other side, you first need to put on the spring and then the washer and then rinse and repeat. Okay, and now all of this needs to go in there without falling apart. One. No, no, I told without, I said without falling apart. Okay, and now comes that one part that I really don't enjoy with alpha cool stuff. Like, you are screwing this one in without really having like a maximum or like, pr like protection mechanism where you cannot over tight it. You can over tight this one. And that basically scares the crap out of me. I really hope that alpha cool like measures the length of the screw and the 
force of the spring so that you're not over cranking it. I really hope so, but I cannot guarantee it. So I will just give it as much like force as I can twist the screwdriver without having it like in my real, really like at the, at the handle. That way I just hope that I have enough torque on the screws but without breaking anything. Let's just hope I didn't kill my CPU. And for the last part, uh, so this one will be going here and there we have 3 pin ARGB. Nice! Okay, although I am unable to check if uh, I didn't kill my CPU by over talking it, because I, I really can until everything is built together, uh, I can declare this day a success. Nothing failed so far, so it's not that bad. And let's have a look at how the ARGB is looking. Well, it's it's ARGB. It's, yeah, it's a lot of ARGB. Well, it's a good thing that Christmas is about to happen, so uh, I have the necessary lights for the studio. Uh, but yeah, for today, I think this was it. I didn't realize that I forgot something else, so uh, it wasn't that bad of a day. At least that. Uh, for the next time, I think I will be starting to water cool the GPU because that one going to be a bit harder or a bit more uh, time consuming part. And then we can finally put everything into the case. We can already put the radiators in with the fittings, with the, with the fans, with everything. Then just wait for the uh, hard lines to arrive. Oh, by the way, I ordered them and the only place I found them to be deliverable like in the span of the next two weeks is Amazon. But it's for, for here, we need to order on Amazon Germany and they need to cross the border and that adds time. So they will arrive by Monday or Wednesday next week. It's Monday now, so it's seven days or like nine days, which, oh my God. It is kind of possible that I will need to build myself a quick PC somewhere somehow just to be able to work to some degree because uh, I cannot just do nothing. Uh, so yeah, we will see how, uh, how that will evolve. But for now, this is okay. Tomorrow we will put the water block on top of the GPU and hope that this one also goes fine. So okay, if you haven't seen the last episode, go watch it or go watch the first one and the second one, that makes more sense. But uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.